Okay. So I think um, we've just done some negative numbers with questions seven and eight. Let's look at these are more negative numbers. This time we're multiplying or dividing. Now I have a little tip. I like to uh, uh, do the calculations. First of all, ignore the minus signs. So just do the number calculation first, and then second, work out whether it's plus or it's minus. Okay? So that's my little tip. So I'm just going to uh, show you what I mean. Here we've got um, calculation here. I want to make 24, so that's easy. So I can make, in this case, I could do 4 times 6. That makes 24. Now, let's have a look at doing minus 4 times minus 6. Now, what did I say? I said, first of all, ignore the negatives. So let's pretend it's 4 and pretend it's 6. Okay? So let's pretend it's 4 and pretend it's 6. Now, we know that that's true. We know that 4 times 6 is 24. So let's take this one off. And now, that's what was underneath. Now, that would give us an answer of minus 24. One minus sign would make the answer minus. If we remove this one as well, then I go ahead and put a second minus in. That flips it back to a plus. Okay. Let's try another one. Let's try this one. Um, I said ignore the minus signs, so we're looking to make a, a total of 8 when we're multiplying. So 2 times 4 does equal 8. Now, I really want minus 8, so I have to work out. So one of these, but not both of them, because if they were both negative, they would turn the answer into a positive. So I need one of these cards to become minus. So let's exchange the 2 for minus 2. 2 times 4 is 8, so minus 2 times 4 is minus 8. That bit works, so that's perfectly acceptable. If I go back to this, that's no good. But I could change this one instead. That's also a perfectly acceptable thing to be able to do. 2 times 4 is 8, so 2 times minus 4 is minus 8. Let's go back. Let's look at these. So for part A, let's do 6 times 3. That's going to give me the answer 18 if I ignore the minus signs. If I did minus 6 times 3, that gives me minus 18. And minus 6 times minus 3 ends up giving me plus 18. Okay. Look at B. Let's just start with the 4 and the 2. 4 times 2 is 8. So putting in the minus signs now, minus 4 times 2 must be minus 8. Don't want to put another one in, because if I put another one in, this will make it the answer positive. So that makes the answer minus 8. Okay. Let's look at C. Let's look at 3 squared. Well, that means 3 times by 3 which is 9. So 3 squared means 3 times 3, which is 9. But it says minus 3 squared, so let's go ahead and put it in. Minus 3 squared really means minus 3 times minus 3. Well, mm, putting one minus in, sign in will make that a minus 9. Putting the other one in makes it plus 9. So actually, it ends up being a positive, because you have a negative times by itself. Last one. Let's look at 21 divided by. Well, let's do 3 first of all. We know the answer is going to be 7. So 21 divided by minus 3 just means we put ahead about a negative in the answer. Minus 7. And then we're done.